Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to make a quick video here to talk about a few things of interest in Vietnam. So let's get on the bike and go for a ride. First off, uh, we just finished up a holiday weekend. April 30th uh, was reunification day in Vietnam. Uh, that was Thursday. And that's sort of similar to Independence Day in the U.S. The next day, May 1st, was Labor Day, so a lot of people had a four-day weekend. And not surprisingly, many of them headed out for some R&R. &R. The traffic from Ho Chi Minh City to Dalat and Vung Tau was so heavy uh, with cars and motorbikes, uh, people got stuck uh, in the gridlock. And I'll show you some pictures here. So this shows that even with international tourism shut down at the moment, Vietnam's tourism industry isn't completely shut down. Cities like Dalat and Vung Tau still get local visitors, but other cities like Nha Trang and Da Nang have more of a challenge uh, since you can't easily drive to them from the large cities like uh, Saigon and Hanoi. Here in Da Nang, I didn't really notice additional road traffic over the holiday weekend, but the coffee shops and restaurants were pretty busy, at least uh, those that were catering to uh, local, local people. So now the second thing I want to talk about relates to some uh, COVID-19 events recently here. Uh, Vietnam hasn't seen any community transmissions uh, in the last few weeks. Uh, but we had one new case uh, discovered yesterday uh, of an oil field worker from the UK who came in on a private flight. Um, he was immediately quarantined on arrival and then tested, and he came back as positive for SARS-CoV-2. He's currently being treated at a hospital, so he doesn't pose a risk to the community. Now, a more troubling situation has to do with uh, multiple relapses that have been happening. And uh, patients that previously had tested positive, tested negatives several times afterwards and were declared recovered or cleared of the virus. Uh, however, after follow-up testing, um, they've now tested positive again. And there's uh, currently 17 people in that category. So that's why the number of active cases has gone up recently. And it's one of the reasons the Prime Minister and the National Steering Committee have been urging people to remain vigilant, uh, to continue wearing face masks, keep social distance, and, not, and they're not allowing uh, large gatherings uh, such as sporting events or, uh, or church services. The beaches are open, which is nice. <laughs> so you just can't, uh, you can't congregate in large groups at the beach. And uh, finally, the last situation I wanted to give an update on is, a, is the British pilot who was linked to the incident at Budabar in Ho Chi Minh City. He's designated as BN-91, and I don't believe his name has been published, but they describe him as a 43-year-old pilot from the UK. The press here has been covering his situation and giving updates pretty regularly, like this news story from a couple days ago. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And yesterday, the uh, Ministry of Health provided an update on BN91. And they describe him as still being in critical condition with pneumonia, uh, diminished heart capacity, and a blood clotting disorder. And he's currently on a ventilator. So the good news with him is he's been testing negative for the virus. Uh, multiple times. So it looks like um, his body has fought off the virus, and but he's continuing to have uh, complications. 
so the country is pulling for him to get better. Uh, they're, they're giving updates pretty regularly. And I'm sure they're doing everything that they can for him. And uh, if there's a significant update, I'll, I'll provide, uh, I'll do another video. Smaller updates uh, will be posted on the forum links below. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.